Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For any first time viewers, I'm Jesse Rebirth. And today we're going to be diving into a fan art from Metal Gear Solid. Now, it's been a while, but Metal Gear Solid was one of my favorite games on the PlayStation. Uh, I don't even remember what age I would have been. That was a long time ago. It was about 4th or 5th grade. I think it was 4th grade when I got heavily into Metal Gear. I had played Siphon Filter previous. And then I got, and then I found out Metal Gear. But it wasn't the greatest hit title when I had bought it, or when it was bought for me as a little kid. But this game, I latched onto it like no other game ever. I played the hell out of that game. And then got Metal Gear Solid 2 the night of the release. Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance was the only reason I bought an Xbox in the beginning. I mean, I bought them all. I bought Substance, Subsistence, uh, Snake Eater subsistence with snake eater but they did it with a new cam ring and you got metal gear metal gear 2 solid snake i have the document of metal gear 2 for the playstation where you go in and watch every video and pull out and see what's going on and you'll see models in the ground while they film certain models for the cinematics and at the very end of metal gear 2 it is true that you see a two-dimensional vamp way in the background Enough of all that though, but this here is going to be a Solid Snake fan art statue from Metal Gear Solid, and I'm really excited about it. Let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what we got here. Alright, so, we got our base, and I, in the group, I had seen there's supposed to be a lot of snow effect on this. You can see I jumped in pretty late. Was number 55 of 60. Very cool bottom. Oh, one of our little things got a little folded over on itself. I've seen that happen with Prime Ones. It's no biggie. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, be careful because it can kind of come off. It feels kind of, it's kind of gooey, actually. It's crazy. Oh. Yeah. It's an effect I know they went for. All right, let's see here. So, I think there's a light up feature on this. That's what's going on here. Let's take a look real quick underneath. Okay, there's nothing there. I wonder if Something's supposed to... All right, we'll get there when we get there. All right, so here's our base. Let's move snakes so we don't accidentally hit anything. It's very, it's a smaller footprint. It's very cool. Oh. Okay, and then you can plug it in right there. All right, so we'll find out what that is here in a bit. Hmm. Very cool. I dig this. I like it. Very Alaska. Very cool. Very Shadow Moses. All right, let's take a look at Snake. Very cool. Look at that. We got some of the snow effect on his boot. It's very cool. He's got a really nice paint job to him, too. Very detailed. Very cool. Wow. He really knocked it out of the park with this guy. This is really cool. Uh, I always wanted to get the three zero metal gears back in the day, but that was when I was a lot younger and they were so expensive. All right, he's in there. So there's our snake body up there right now. Let's take a look what we got here. Let's, so this is going to be one of the final layers. We got some extra arms again. We got an extra hand. A hand. A hand. Oh, that's going to be a cigarette hand. A hand. An arm. So we're up to five arms. I always thought his shoulder armor was pretty cool. Let's take a look. 
So this is an arm that's going up. We've got a left arm right here. And this is an arm. All right, very cool. So what we'll do is we'll just get some pieces on here and we'll uh, we'll decide here in just a second. Look at the little strap on his gloves. This is very cool. All right, so not everything is compatible. These hand arms go with certain hands. That does not look right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. All right. So let's check out these little pouches real quick. Very cool. A little magazine pouch or something. If you've ever played Metal Gear, you know Snake can carry about as much in his pouches as Batman does in his utility belt. And that's a lot. Check it out, another little pouch, same one, with a, probably about the same back to it, very cool. We got a bigger one here. Very cool texture on them, very nice. That one's gonna be right there. So we're still missing one. Oh, it'll be this one right here. There we go. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. We're going to have to figure out these hands on them here in a second. We got some more stuff right here. It's going to be some more snake heads. We got one without night vision on. Very cool. That's our snake. I like how it's like a Batman type thing where his uh, eyebrows wrinkle the bandana. We all know that can't happen. They're all going to have a hole in the back where our bandana strings will attach. All right, what's going on there? Six, five. Oh, you know what? I think something was resting on there from another one. Is it one. the head? Yeah. It was that head that had fallen through. And we got our other head. So check this out. People who played Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation, this is going to be the head for you. Oh. How cool is that? It's all pixelated. Looks just like him. That is one of the coolest things ever. I really dig that. We got a holster. I'm just going to go right on right there. So now that's what happens. We have a holster with a gun in it. Now we got a hand with a SOCOM laser and silencer right here. So what we can do, and that arm. It's really tripping me out that these have like really specific things they can do. Let's take a look here. Yep, that's too small. That one's kind of bigger. You know, this is what's meant for this mm -hmm. arm, but it's probably meant to go with our famous. So, I'm assuming these arms don't come out together. The way they would. So let's take a look here. Yep, there we go. So if you know a snake, he fights with his fists. Which that's really cool right there. Which I'm wondering now. Oh, I thought I was wrong. I think that's where that goes. It does. It's kind of a big hole for a little key. 
I may be wrong, but I don't know anything else. I don't see anything else that's gonna go in there. All right, so let's take one of our bandanas. Let's check this out. All right, pretty ragged and tattered. Very cool. Let's take a look at the back of our head. Definitely don't want to force this in the wrong way. You know, I think literally there's a bandana for each head and they don't, they're not interchangeable. Oh, wow. Okay, so, you know what this is? This is our pixelated bandana. That's hilarious. <laughs> even though he never had the, the tails in the pixelated version. So, this has to be... These heads bandana. You just gotta kinda push it in there a little bit. There we go. So, that's one version of it. Very cool. He's ready to go with his fists. I like it. It's very cool. Very cool indeed. Really like all the texture on him. I dig this base. The, the snow effect is weird that it's like squishy in areas. But uh, if you have the, the uh, Mr. Freeze from Prime 1 or the the um, XE, the Cold Cold Heart XE suit. They have this same kind of snow effect but without the squishiness to them. But it flakes off all over the place all the time. It's crazy. Let's put that one on first. Maybe we should put this arm on first. There we go. Oh, wow. That fits in there really well. Mm -hmm. Extremely well. Wow. Very cool. I really do like this night vision goggle head. It's very classic, very, very cool. Now what I would like to do just to see. Oh. Oh, cool. What's going on here? Are you supposed to do that? It is, but... Like the on and off? You know what it is. Is it in the wrong head? Yeah, they have them mixed up here. Now our heads are trying to connect to each other. <laughs> so that looks more like his infrared goggles. They may be all mixed up here. It has been a very long time since I played this. So let's see here. So you just have to push that in a little bit. All right. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so this one, the angry head gets this normal hair. It's almost like they should have painted around the edges a little more because you can see the red showing through a little bit. <laughs> Very thin casting there but it's a lot of detail in a little spot. I get what they're going for and it's definitely very cool and it's a very cool effect. 
That is way cool. All right. Let's go ahead and shut that off for now. I like that the hair and everything's all interchangeable. It's very cool. Let's check out what he looks like just normally. Very cool. That brow really shadows his eyes out too. Very snake. I would. I know that they were making a big boss uh, Metal Gear 3 snake next, the group was. It was a really cool statue, but I would rather go Metal Gear 2 and Metal Gear 1 because you keep going and 4 and all that. I liked them all. I really did. I know Snake Eater, well, Subsistence. I like the camera viewing in Subsistence better, but I know that's one of the best of all of them. But Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 hold a I played those the most. Uh, in very hard mode for Metal Gear 2, I'm only missing one uh, set of dog tags. It was some stupid bridge. It was I want to say it was AB connecting bridge, but I don't remember. But I could not sit through that game just to get that dog tag pin. Very hard mode. It is very hard. And that was, you know, over 15 years ago. But very cool. I'm going to grab a charger cord. All right, guys. So it just dawned on me, right as we were plugging it in. I haven't even turned it on yet, but I, I realized why this is the way it is. This goes in. This goes on top of it. And it may look weird, but it dawned on me. When you're a Metal Gear fan, you get it. And I know, I, I remember them talking about, and I thought it was gonna be a light up function. Because once I pre-order something in groups, I really don't go back and I wait to get the message that I owe money for a payment or it's coming. But it dawned on me when you play the game, the ammo boxes spin on the ground. So, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. That's the ammo box spinning on the ground. That's about the speed they do it. It's loud. It's not that loud. You can. I'm gonna leave that on for any extended period of time, but it's a very cool gimmick. I dig it. It's absolutely cool. Uh, if I was to display it though, um, it does look cool, and I get it. I'd probably put it on the ground though, because I like the realism aspect of it too. Uh, Looks like this thing's a casting nightmare. Like little chunks flaking off. Anyway, so our Famous, very cool. Very, very cool. But one thing we need to look at. Now I, I realized we probably can intermingle these. Let's take a look here. And pull that off because he doesn't have to have two hands on there. Let's find out. Just find him. Okay, okay, these are two completely different arms. So, how sweet is that? Gotta get over there to see it myself. Wow, that is cool. That is way cool. should do because if we're not displaying it on him or him holding it we 
death and we put the one with it in the holster. Now one thing I will say that's really cool, if you guys have been watching all my McFarlane uh, DC videos, back in the day McFarlane made toys for Metal Gear Solid. He did Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2. Uh, with 2 you could build a Metal Gear Ray, super cool. I uh, really loved everything about those. And then as an adult, I even went back and bought the two pack of uh, Meryl and Snake because when you're younger, it's not in your Spencer's or in any immediate store, you didn't get them. So, we got our soak on. Now I wonder, all right, let's try this. Let's take that off because these arms are very specific for what's going on. Let's take a look in there. So, okay, I like that. I guess our left arm, only left arm we have is the cigarette and fist arm and the famous arm. So, if we got the SOCOM in his hand, which I think I would go Famous. I think the Famous was awesome. The one time you need bandana and you get to actually unload with the Famous, is that a, remember when, uh, so there was that, what was it, a hangar helicopter? I don't remember what it was called. It was the one with liquid where you have it out on the roof and you rappel down the wall and every, well, no, you run down the stairs forever and then you rappel. I believe it's been so long since I played this and then the last one I played of the original was actually Twin Snakes where they overdid everything about it but it was sweet and it looked really good it had those Metal Gear 2 or right around their graphics but uh when you run down that stairway shooting all the guards and you basically fire all your rounds till you get to those last three tracer rounds and then you just put the bandana on you just release with your uh, tracer rounds and your famous so cool so much fun i missed that game uh, so that is basically every arm let's do what we've all been waiting for let's take that head off and i gotta say i thought this was so cool How cool is that? <laughs> it's so silly and so ridiculous that it was just perfect. And I dig it. I dig the pixelated bandana, even though whenever you played, it never showed. But how cool is that? It's so stupid, it's awesome. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do this again, just for this head. Oh. It's so cool. It's so cool. I've been telling Karen we need to replay the game so she could see it. Funny thing is, though, I was telling her the videos are longer than a movie. And back then, when I was that young, I didn't even know what the hell was going on. It took a long time until I understood exactly what they were talking about. About all the. Well, I don't know if I should spoil it for Karen. But, you know well all the soldiers are kind of a, a genome thing uh i dig it i love it i know that the same group is working on a sniper wolf right now uh she's a fan favorite meryl they're not working on her yet but i was gonna say meryl is a big fan favorite of mine uh metal gear 4 was a little weird where we see her again but it was cool metal gear 4 was a nice send-off we see a really old snake 
Now I, I say send off because I gotta tell you I've never played five. I've never played Phantom Pain or Ground Zeroes, whatever it was. I've never played it. I picked it up at Best Buy, Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain for $19.99. And I do plan on playing it. But I just I never did. I don't know. I just wasn't playing video games at the time when it came out. And uh I, I should get on that, but one will always hold a special place in my heart. I think one was absolutely an awesome game. Loved everything about it. And uh, I could say this, if they end up making a Liquid or, uh, I don't know, Psycho Manus. I know now another group uh, made a Ninja. And they actually altered the base to match this one's base. So you get a gray fox, it was cool, he was doing this whole little eye thing, he lights up, very cool. Uh, I missed out on it, I just completely put, spaced it out. And then I had a second chance, and then I just I didn't do it. But seeing how awesome this one is, I kind of regret that, kind of not. I really dig it, I absolutely love it. Let's go ahead. I wonder, let's see here. I dig that they made it to where you can switch these up, but you can't use the, the on function. Let's see how cool that looks. Yeah, he looks pretty, pretty relaxed, pretty chill. I like it. I like the mad face, but I think I like that one more. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Metal Gear Solid really holds a special place in my heart. Now, I know a lot of people might ask what I thought about Death Stranding. Never played it. Not interested in it. I know a lot of people love Hideo Kojima. I loved what he did with Metal Gear, but outside of Metal Gear, I never really followed him much, to be honest. Uh, I know I did fall in love with Zone of Enders because we all bought it just to play the demo disc of Metal Gear 2 uh, when it first came out but other than that the only thing I really ever played of him was Metal Gear Solid but this is right out of my childhood uh, it's kind of like how we got you know they're doing the remakes to Resident Evil and Prime 1 is really making some awesome Resident Evil pieces a Leon and a Claire uh, recently opened Cloud Cloud and Snake will go really nice next to each other, both 90s PlayStation games, uh, both excellent, both some of my favorites. But let me know what you think about them, let me know what combo is your favorite, the one I have on him right now with the Famous and the Cigarette and the Angry Face, that's probably my favorite combo, I don't know, maybe Angry or maybe the, the Normal Face, but as you can see, He's awesome, and I like that the ammo box spins, but I like having it on the ground when it's not in use because I think it looks better sitting on the ground. But let me know what you think of this statue. Let me know if you played Metal Gear, which one was your favorite. Let me know how you feel about the whole series. But as for this, uh, I gotta say thank you for all the love and support you all show me. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Please share it with your friends. Let them know this awesome snake statue is out there. I seen that Someone who is in the group who got theirs is selling them for $2,000 right now. That's a lot. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this guy. He is an instant winner. It's a classic. I love this statue. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about him. Leave me a comment. Share this with your friends. But most of all, guys, keep buying toys. <laughs>